Kevin puts $1,000 into his retirement fund every month. Interest in the account is compounded monthly at a rate of 12% per annum. Initially, he has $30,000 in his account. Write a recurrence relation to represent this situation. So, a recurrence relation for an annuity, V n plus 1 equals some function of Vn, where we've got our original initial value V0 in this case is $30,000. Now the rate is 12% per annum, so rate is our common ratio, that's R, the interest that's being charged, so that's 1 plus R, which is the interest rate per period, that's 12 over 12, over 100, plus, because he's depositing the money into the account, so it's increasing, that's different from a reducing balance loan, and he's putting in $1,000 every month. Use the recurrence relation to determine the amount in his account after three months. So I'll just rewrite it again here. Vn plus 1 equals, this simplifies to 1.01 Vn plus 1,000. So V1, well that's 1.01 times V0 plus 1,000 which is 1.01 .01 times 30,000 plus 1,000. V1 is 31,300 dollars. Next, V2. Well, that's 1.01 .01 times V1 plus 1,000. So we're just using the previous term to find the next one. That's 1.01 1 .01 times 31,300 plus 1,000. Well, that equals 32,613 dollars. And one more time for V3. We've got 1.01 .01 times V2 plus 1,000, which is 1.01 1 .01 times 32,613 plus 1,000, which when we calculate that, of the zeros didn't show up there, is $33,939.13. We can also confirm this using our sequence generator. The formula 1.01 .01 times u n minus 1 plus 1,000. The initial value was 30,000. We're starting with V0 and I want up to V3 or U3. Enter and we calculate and yes the last value matches what we got. $33,939.13.